Welcome to this video. Today we deal with the most important configuration change introduced with the release of ACS 7.2. Since the plain HTTP communication mode between Alfresco repository and search services is deprecated, you may need to adjust your configuration to use one of the supported communication modes, mutual TLS or secret header. Let's now proceed with the details for these configuration modes. This will allow you to identify the changes required for your deployment. A regular Alfresco deployment includes a set of services that provide all the required functionality for the ACS stack. Today, we focus on the communication mode between the Alfresco repository and the SER services, which is based in Solar 6. There are three different communication modes available. Known use the plain HTTP protocol without authentication. So you need to protect this communication with an external configuration, such as uh, Engine's web proxy configuration, to prevent external access to repository and Solar 6 endpoints. HTTPS use the mutual TLS protocol where you need to create a set of key store and trust store files, including digital certificates that ensure authentication between the two services. Secret use a common secret word in a special HTTP header. So that communication is not using authentication, but is protected by the configuration of this secret word in Alfresco and Ser services. The modes known and HTTPS are available for ACS uh, 6.x uh, as well as for ACS 7.0 and 7.1. As of ACS 7.2, only the modes secret and HTTPS are available. If you have previously used HTTPS, no configuration changes are required. If you previously used known and want to use mutual TLS HTTPS as part of the upgrade, key store and trust store files must be created and configured. If you previously used known and want to use secret header secret as part of the upgrade, you must select a secret word and configure it in repository and search services. Let's go through a regular upgrading process from ACS uh, 6.2 to ACS 7.2 with a configuration change from known to secret so we can focus on the details of this process. We start with a Docker Compose deployment that contains a data folder with the file system, database, and solar index information, and a set of add-ons for the Alfresco and SER applications. In addition, the Docker Compose uh, file could contain some additional configuration in the form of environment variables for the various services, which can also be integrated into the final deployment. The first step is to create an empty ACS 7.2 Docker Compose deployment with the initial configuration and uh, the add-ons from the previous version. Once this configuration has been verified and test, the data folder can be replaced with the original one and the great process can be completed with a new reboot. Let's move on to this now so we can understand how it works. We are starting with a running deployment for ACS 6.2. This uh, deployment includes some uh, data on it, also includes some uh, add-ons deployed, and we can even create some new content so we can check later. This content is also uh, migrated uh, to this 7.2 uh, deployment. So we can create some uh, sample content on the SER files. And we need to check later that this is also present in the 7.2 environment. As I said, this is a running environment with uh, some uh, 
configuration on it. So we have the Alfresco, um, the Alfresco folder with a Docker file and some modules. We have some configuration for engines. We have this original data for ActiveNQ and the repository, the, the database data, and also the solar indexes. Uh, the configuration in Docker Compose. Uh, we are going to see that now. Some logs. We don't need to uh, to move that to the new deployment if you don't want to do that. We have also some configuration for search and some other configuration for ser. Uh, also, if we uh, look into the Alfresco, we can see that we have some modules deployed and the same thing for ser. So we have also some modules that we need to deploy on the new system. And if we look at the uh, Docker Compose configuration, we can see that this original system is using plain HTTP mode for the communication. This is the configuration for the repository. And we have also the same configuration in the uh, solar site. So we have also this uh, known configuration for Alfresco. So uh, we need uh, to change at least this configuration in order to upgrade to 7.2. So at this point, uh, we are ready to do that. And we can start by creating um, um, the first configuration for uh, 7.2. So we create a new folder. And we uh, generate the uh, default configuration. So 7.2, we can use more or less the same options we choose for the first one with the service and so on. But at this point, you can see that for the Alfresco Solar Communication, we have only secret or HTTPS. We are going to go with secret and all the other by default. We are not going to choose any add-on because we are going to use the add-ons that were present in the 6.2 uh, deployment. So we can go with that. And now we are uh, we have a configuration that includes this new communication mode, right? So this is the secret mode with a ser secret word and the same thing on the solar side. So we have the solar with the secret mode and with the secret word in configuration. So uh, let's start by uh, copying all the add-ons that we have on the uh, previous deployment. So we can see if that uh, works as expected. So let's copy uh, from 6.2 for the Alfresco, uh, the modules, we have some amps okay let's copy everything to alfresco module amps and the same thing for ser so let's copy all the modules uh, to the new deployment if we uh, have uh, jars instead of amps you can do exactly the the same thing but at this point we are ready uh, to test if the new 7.2 uh, deployment is running as expected with the uh, add-ons we were using in the 6.2 installation. Once ACS 7.2 has started, remember with the new configuration for the SARET secret communication and also with the add-ons coming from the previous uh, deployment, we can check that everything is working as expected. So we can just uh, remember that we still don't have the data from the previous installation, but we still can check if the add-ons are, uh, are working uh, as expected. So we can just uh, look at the module browser that all the expected add-ons are working. Also, we can perform some other functional verifications. And on the repository part, we can also verify that the expected uh, add-ons have been deployed and they are uh, present on the system. So, okay, it looks like everything is, is working, everything is deployed, so uh, everything is compatible with the new version. And uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to access to the Solar Wave console uh, by using the uh, uh, the endpoint 
that is protected with user password, we are going to get this uh, problem because we configure that to use the secret mode. And in this secret mode, you need this specific uh, secret word on the header. So if we uh, choose this uh, request header with the expected secret word, then after that, we will be able uh, to connect again successfully to Solar. So, okay, every, now that everything seems to be working as expected, the secret mode and also all the add-ons, we are now ready uh, to restore the data coming from the six dot installation. So let's do that. Once that we have verified that uh, all the add-ons and all the new configuration is working as expected, we need to move the data from the 6.2 deployment to the new one. For this task, you can use this creating restoring backups for Alfresco with Docker Compose blog post available in the Alfresco hub. So mainly what we need is to, uh, to create a backup for the database and to copy all the uh, information from the file system. We need to use this backup because in, uh, in the previous version, we have Postgres 11, but in the new one, we are using uh, Postgres 13. So as they are not compatible, we need to create a backup and to move this backup into the new one. So just remember to remove this uh, temporal information that was created uh, during the validation step for the 7.2. And uh, we are going to start only the uh, Postgres service in the old container so we can create the backup uh, for the database. So with that, we can just uh, run the uh, backup uh, for the old database so p dump for the username alfresco and the database alfresco and we can create a, a pg dump at this point so with that we have all the information we can stop postgres in the old uh, installation and again, we can start Postgres in the new one. Again, on the background. And we can restore this uh, backup by using, for instance, this. So uh, let me copy that. And we are going to import this pg dump uh, to the new one. Yes, you need to pipe this. And if everything was expected, we are going to get all the information in this uh, new database. So once that everything is uh, ready, we can also uh, copy all the information for the file system so that will be uh, data and the uh, information for the repository to uh, the, the folder to the local folder we have so on the data folder we have the postgres restore we have also the repo data and with that we are ready to start our new uh, to start the new installation with the restored information from the previous one. In this case, I'm using just the simple approach, so I'm going. I'm not uh, getting all the solar uh, information from the previous installation, but you can still be restoring the. Um, the backup from the solar indexes if they are compatible and uh, and that should be enough so just let the system start 
and let's check out that everything is working as expected. It looks like everything was fine. The database has been uh, restored and upgraded to the latest configuration. And we can check if the uh, content we created before on the 6.2 deployment is also present in the um, in this new 7.2 environment. So just wait a little bit for sure. We are going in now again, and uh, we are going to check if that file we created in the share folder is still present, and also if all the other information is uh, is restored in this new environment. Remember that we were just upgrading a version in order to understand the details that uh, were affecting the configuration. So we have the old information also in the new system. And finally, we got a successful upgrading from ACS 6.2 that was using HTTP communication mode to 7.2 by using this secret uh, SER communication mode for the Alphasco repository and Solar. I hope that was useful and see you in next videos. Bye.